Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna continue um, with episode two, part two, Turnabout Sisters. So we just ended the first part of the trial, the investigation into the trial. So we're gonna continue and let's prove her innocence, guys. We're gonna go. Okay, continuing. You were amazing in there. Thank you. Yes, I have a fan now. It's great. No, I'm better than him. <laughs> eh. I'm cooler. Mm. No. Sorry. Nah, crazy pinky, um, pinky heart lady is trying to make things difficult for me, so. Not quite yet, we can't leave. And now we gotta find the guy who was with pinky heart lady in the hotel room. She like freaked out. Yeah, she will learn that Charm doesn't always work. She's gonna totally bite my head off, I swear. I'm gonna find this guy. Alright, so we have until the next day to basically just give you time to go and investigate question more people and then you're gonna go for like a final round in the in the courtroom so actually majority of her testimony was all lies basically so there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record Well, you know, she lied. I have to figure out um, why she's lying. Oh, well, it would have been nice to have this at the, begin at the end of the last video. That would have totally made sense. <laughs> Alright, well, it's a little awkward to cut it off, but sure. We'll just roll with it. It's okay. Now we're at the detention center with Miss Crazy Pinky Heart Lady. Really? Oh no, there we go. There's your true nature. You brought this upon yourself. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Of all the things that she could say to insult me, she's a spiky head. Nah, he actually looks pretty... like he always does. Bored. Yeah, she's literally got problems. Yeah, right? You're the wackiest person ever. Alright, let's talk to you and figure out what the heck is wrong with you. You'll be like, um, like, no, I can't. Oh. Eh, yeah, close enough. Hmm. Yeah, why did you wiretap her phone? You are a criminal, you weirdo. You, y yeah, duh, you don't tap people's phones. It's, like... Stuff you learn. <laughs> Why are you so <laughs> angry? 
Oh, people could look so sweet and then have like the craziest personality ever. I think just against you, because you like or we totally just did crazy stuff. Anyways, um let's see. Either I could I don't know if I can present to her her testimony, which she already is aware of, or I can present to her the wiretap, I guess, because she had it in her place and probably wants it back. So I don't know. Not that we would give it to her, but I'm just saying could use it either. I think testimony would make more sense though, so we'll do that. Or not. <laughs> Actually, I um, really hate your guts. Yeah. I don't care if you hate my guts, lady. Fine, we'll do the wire tap. Oh, okay, well, she'll just repeat everything. Obviously, you're not cooperating with me. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, wait. No, stop! I didn't want to do that. My bad, sorry. I wanted to try one more thing. Um, uh, how do you cycle through? Oh, I guess... Oh, I guess you can't present, um... Darn, you can't present profiles. Okay, um... There's gotta be something in here that'll make her talk. I don't think she'll... I don't think she'll respond to anything, though, because she just doesn't want to talk about anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the same conversation. Um... Yeah, nope. She hates it. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. She's not gonna do anything. Alright. So, we're gonna move to... Uh, yeah, let's go back to the Fane Cola offices for right now. She's kind of being a butt right now, so... So there's no one here. Really, anything I could look at? Yeah, no. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna move back to. Let's go back to the hotel. Mm. I love uncooperative people. He's still working? Oh, well, I guess he didn't really do anything wrong. He just... Yeah, maybe he'll actually help me. Ooh, wait, rep. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, people want to go to a hotel where they know a murderer used a wiretap? I will be famous. I'm the bellboy that helped the murderers. Like, no, she didn't actually do the murder. She just helped. Helped the long. She lied. Alright, let's talk to you then. What is up with her? did not. You were- <laughs> You were f infatuated with her is what you were. She had you charmed. Can you tell me what he looked like? He struck me as a real lady killer. What do you define as a lady killer? He and I are of the same ilk. Really? Yeah, you're pretty crazy. I don't have a picture of him, so...
Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Whatever floats your tea set. Gosh. People are weird. Alright, um... Let's see... Can I present her testimony to you? Not that that would really make any sense, but I'm just wondering what will happen. Oh, well that doesn't help me at all. Alright, we're gonna go to... This dude's offices then. I'm just gonna keep wandering around until I figure out what's happening. Oh hey, his painting's missing. The painting's gone. Look at that. It's completely... Yes, and it was very orange. Oh, um... A fisherman. I think. It was some dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was what it was. Okay, so... Clearly he's not here. Ooh! Picture! I'm blind. Look at that. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Alright, let's look at this. Huh, okay. Some lady. Nah, who's gonna notice that you just took two pictures on like a really clean desk? Okay, DL6 Incident Exhibit A. Okay, look at this one. Now, doesn't he look familiar? Oh shoot, I gotta take- I can only take one? Can't you just take both with you? Um... I'm gonna swap photos. Yeah, this one's important. So, let's go back. Alright, now I know what to show her. Let's go. Okay, pinky heart lady. <laughs> All right. That man. Yeah, don't protect him. No, she didn't do it. Alright, so why don't we present this to you, lady? Go. Ooh, look at that, see? I struck a chord. Look at that eye twitch. How weird did you? Ha who, what, when, why? Don't play dumb with me. Okay, all right, now I know what to do. Alright, you want proof? Got it, I'll get it for you. Let's go. Go back to the hotel. Let's talk to this dude. Oh wait. Actually, is there anything else to talk to him about? No, because I already... Okay. There we go. Tell me. Thank you. Might as well be a detective at this point. <laughs> Ooh. 
Aha! And then working, working in a bank. I actually know what an affidavit is. No, have him write it. That's that's a very good idea. Affidavits are so important. <laughs> and henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Yeah. Sweet. Oh yeah, she can't deny an affidavit. Alright, so we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna show Miss Pinky Heart Lady. Don't lie to me. I can totally tell she's annoying the heck out of me right now because I'm just like, you're being so unco uncooperative right now. Alright. I'm gonna weasel your way out of this. Ooh, not happy anymore. Ease her fear- no, I'm gonna push her hard. Let's- let's do this. Yeah! I mean, sometimes you have to do this in order to get people to cooperate with you. Thank you! <laughs> oh, okay. Red, white. Gathering con... con Conglomerate? I have never heard of that word before. Alright, I'm learning new words now. Red, white. Oh, we heard that before. In like the first. Was it the first part of. either the first part of this episode or the previous one? We heard red, white before. I guess I can understand why she's being uncooperative too, not saying anything because she doesn't want to further incriminate herself. But um, she doesn't. I don't know. You might have something over her too, so that's probably why she's not talking. Because she is, or he is, her boss, so he has some kind of power over her. So I can understand that, I guess. I don't know how old she's supposed to be. I wonder if it says in the thing. Oh, she- dang, she's one year younger than I am, so she's hecka- she's hecka young. She doesn't know anything. Or, well, she doesn't- you know, you know things, but you don't know a lot. Like, still haven't experienced a lot. Like, I'm- I'm- I'm currently 24, I don't know a lot of things either, so... It's like that age of just feeling lost. And not really knowing anything, so... Okay, fun. Alright, so we're gonna go to Blue Corp now. Oh, the painting got moved over here. Okay, okay, I see that. All smiley right now. I actually kind of wonder what he'll look like when he starts freaking out. <laughs> right. Phoenix, right. Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary?
Red white. Huh, okay. Wordly challenged. Okay, so I guess if we don't know the complicated words you're using, we're wordly challenged. Okay. <laughs> what a fruitcake! Yeah, you're a fruitcake. Alright, um, pinky heart lady and fruitcake dude. Fruitcake sparkle. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, let's see what you have to say. I wonder if all the employees were pink. Like, I wonder if that's a requirement? Of course. It's like, oh no! <laughs> tapping them is not in her job description. I tell you to answer phones, not tap them. Hmm. Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. So let me know if you guys actually want me to read through all this. I mean, I could. I just think it'd be kind of weird. But I guess if someone's listening to this and can't see the screen, they'd want to know what everyone's saying. So do let me know, I'll make the changes in probably the next few episodes in. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Huh. He should have seen. Ah. But he went missing. See, so since he wasn't with her, that just actually further incriminates him some more, so I really don't understand. About blue cord. Buy and sell various kinds of inventory. That is the most vague description ever. <laughs> we are we are a company, and we buy and sell various kinds of information. What kind of information? I'm curious. See, even that makes me a little weary. Yet you wear pink. So it's called Blue Corp, but you wear pink. But you're wearing pink! Tell me about that painting. Uh... Either we just say we've said it, we've seen it, or we ask him where he got it, although I doubt he would tell us, or when he got it. Hmm, I don't want to let him in on that I've seen it before, so maybe I'll just say when did you get it. Hmm, yeah. Oh, well, if he was already gonna cover the fact that he saw it already, that, that was fine then. Good thing I covered that other question. Okay.
Well. Grody Burger. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, really? Yeah, I should! This just incriminates you further. Oh, just because you have a ton of money. <laughs> I mean, maybe he'll tell me. I hope he tells me why the painting is in your office now. Go on now, skedaddle. I just punched you. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, he just punched me. And he's got those ridiculous rings on too. It probably hurt hecka bad. Okay. Um, so. He has established that, um, he has his painting here. So he probably took it. I can imagine he probably did. This is the weirdest statue ever. But it is blue, so that kind of makes sense. But the blue corp sign is not blue. Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice that desk. I totally didn't even notice the bottom here, I just saw a desk and then he was like, oh. Yeah, that's quite a desk. Alright, that desk really bothers me. Okay. Well, so let's go back to Grosper Law Offices and see if he came back. Tell me why that painting is gone. <laughs> and yet you refuse to help me earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time to think about why you rejected her. Mr. White had something to do with something against you. That big painting is gone. Probably already knows. He's blackmailing him, probably. That thing is worth three million dollars, so I wouldn't be surprised he'd want it. Okay, so either he's giving you information or he's blackmailing you. Um. But I think if he were to part with the painting, he would never give up. It's probably more forced, I'd say blackmailing, but 
that he could be giving you information. Um, I want to say he's blackmailing you because that would make more sense. Ah, I knew it. Notice that. Huh, okay. Fifteen years of pain now? Ah, okay. Gotcha, because they were holding it against him. Gotta love that. Freaking um, company, uh, crazy company drama. Oh, I see. That's why they, why he said that they couldn't do anything to him, even if I tried to um, get him to testify. He has uh, something against anyone. Totally makes sense now. Okay. Tell me about this DL6 incident then. I received a request from Medium. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Everything's coming together. Hmm. Sucks when someone has that much power in that world. Okay. All right. Cool. That's helpful advice. I'm gonna go to the office and examine her files. So we're gonna look around at some of the files here. There's gotta be something on that guy. Let me look at. Um, hmm. We'll try T through Z first, cause W. Okay, so my guess is that when he came and murdered her, he probably took it with him. Either that or she stored it somewhere. That's her favorite potted plant. Let's try the A through I then. Yeah, read it. Okay. 
Marvin Grossberg, the lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite. Okay, so I'm gonna look through the other part as well. Okay. Just skim it. It's good. the most disturbing one. Okay, I want to see that. I'm curious. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written on the top. And okay, so we have that. Okay, so I don't, I don't know exactly where to go at this point because going back to her is not gonna really do anything. He's already threatened me, so I don't really want to... Let's go back to his office for a minute. Uh, let's present this to him. Yes, I will challenge him in court. I have that going for me. So, I don't think going back here will do anything, but let's try it anyways. Alright, so that's fine. I don't know if I want to go back to him or not. The bow boy seems to be out. Oh. Still just shoved in there? Okay, alright, well I'll move back to... What are you gonna do? Great, he's gonna kill me, that's what he's gonna do. He's threatening me now. Has me to talk about April, May. All right. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Got to put him on the spot and. Qu oh, okay. Got it. I know what to do. Okay, so let's present this. Can I not do that? Oh, there we go. Secret government funds. You're the one who did it. Though I'm not sure how good it is to. blackmailed him. I don't know how good it is to accuse him right straight that, um, but we'll go for it. I'm not entirely sure how 
smart it is to reveal it to him though, because I feel like he'll do something. Or he'll just deny it. interesting I think if I say that you're wrong he'll just kick me out so maybe if I say you're right he won't kick me out I hate to say he's right but or that you could do that too <laughs> Calling me at a time like this. He's lying. Okay, so now he wants to testify. So now we really need to convict him in court because he's a terrible person. Oh boy. Yeah, it's hard when someone like this has so many connections with people, they can easily just wreck your whole life. So now I'm being taken into custody. Okay, so now we're back in the detention center. figure out how to get myself out of this mess. Yeah, they're accusing me of murder now. Oh, he'll never be satisfied. He'll just keep destroying people's lives. That's why we need to prove that he's the murderer, and then we can get his butt in jail. J 
just cheer me on in court. I don't think there's really anything else she could do. Well, not that dramatic, but yeah. <laughs> to get caught up in actually getting accused of murder. You know, some, um, some court cases go on for longer than that, I would imagine. Alright, so that's to be continued. That's the end of the investigation portion. Alright, save here. Alright. So we're gonna go back. At 9.52 a.m. Alright, so we're in the defense lobby right now. Edgeworth. Really? He's probably has everybody. He's probably blackmailing everyone. saw everything that happened. So I wonder who my defense attorney is. Oh, I'm just defending myself. <laughs> Okay. I'll defend myself, it's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know why he didn't question it. But I think it's because he probably has something over the judge. Try, I guess. Yeah.
<laughs> of course, he'll agree with him right away. Cool. Let's listen to his testimony then. Alright, let's see what you have to say. About nine o'clock. Perusifying. Perusifying? Okay. So I saw him a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Time to start the cross-examination process. I'm just gonna press on everything since I don't know exactly where to present stuff. So that seems pretty self-explanatory that it was 9 o'clock. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. It happened soon after the room service arrived. And that's what Miss May said too. I'm gonna hold back for now. It's quietly impressive. I'm just reading through some papers. Okay. Water is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. And I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Let me see, continue. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way.
phone, would you tap the phone of this free woman? Victim, she, she ran away but you gave chase. was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? No, cause that... Okay. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. That's a problem already. Yeah, he's lying there because that's not what Pinky Harley said, that's for sure. Alright, so there is something weird. Okay, so. May testimony. And then if you look at this too. can't because everything here is like I mean I don't think it would matter if I presented this but definitely would do that Objection! there we go you're lying And since he wasn't there, he didn't hear what she said, so... Yeah, finally someone actually looks at the floor pack plans. I saw her ran left because he was inside, not out. Oh no. Cause that would be her right, so if she said that... If she said that... Mia ran right. And that Mr. White said that she ran left. They're both right. He was in the office. <laughs> He's standing right here. That's why she would have ran to the left. Think they're joking? <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> Rough skeleton. He's flustered. You can see it.
Because he thinks he can wheel his way out of it. He's gonna change his testimony and he's gonna lie some more. So let's see what you're gonna say. Is something in the autopsy report that she was only hit once? Because he claims that she was hit twice. Which I don't believe- well obviously is not true, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, what does this say? Died from a blow by a blunt object may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. But she was only hit once. And then you hit her savagely, that is what I saw. Okay, so I know he- I know how this is working, it's just- I'm trying to figure out where the, um... That is not what she said, though. It's gonna be back here. I don't know what to present that one piece though is the thing. I'll say give me a second to save this. Um so we gotta reload again. Okay. Well luckily that was actually pretty quick, so I have my thing back. Alright, so this is clearly about to explain. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to edit this a lot.
is something to do with this. I just don't know where to present it, and I'm kind of... Somewhere. I just. I don't know where he slipped and it's bugging the heck out of me right now. I'm trying to do this without looking for help because I don't want to end up um, cheating. <laughs> but this is challenging already. I assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. That's probably right in front of my face, and I just don't get it right now. Let's see, next with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. He chased her and delivered the final blow. You hit her twice. She wasn't hit twice, she was only hit once. So what happens if I do this? Ooh, I got it. Oh, yes. It was right in front of me. There we go. Got you. That took forever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bit rusty on this. That's the fun part of this too, it kind of makes you- you have to look at it carefully too. And even after not playing this for a very long time, I have to still look so carefully at what they're lying about. Another testimony. Okay, 10 minute break. No, not 10 minute break. No need. We want justice. No breaks. No, oh, he's running out of lies. That's why he's scared. Um. Well, there's only one window, though. <laughs> no, he's lying some more, I just... Oh boy, I love these cross-examinations. I will get you. Even if it takes me to have to press every single statement you make. Lying on the floor when I looked. Objection! 
He is falling apart. You can see it. You can tell by the frantic music that they just start to get a little very fairy flustered when they're lying. Composure, it's completely just falling apart. And Edge was just looking flustered too. I'm just gonna press every single thing. It's always useful pressing because you get more information, more elaboration. Uh, they elaborate more on different statements. He could see that it's lying there, but oh, try that. There we go. The broken beyond recognition. What you ruined it for me. Yeah, there's no way. He would only be able to know what it was if he initially was the one who broke it, so... And that'd be a problem. It's a big problem. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. So he says that before the murder happened, he saw the light stand through the window. But I've been staring at the floor plan plans this whole time and it's like, that's impossible. Yes, I have proof. We couldn't have seen the stand before it fell over because of this. The floor plans that show that you can't see the light stand at all it is at the far left of the room. Right over here. What do you have to say to that? It's interesting that they'd have a glass light stand. That seems dangerous. Falling apart. Huh. 
<laughs> Mr. White. Of course they have to throw another curveball at me. Headed either. Saying that he saw it when he before. He's the murderer. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh, this is like his third testimony. Can I convict him already? Now it's just there's a time difference. So I'm trying to figure out where he is lying, and I've been having issues with this. Let's see. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. That's obvious. I had entered the Fade and Cola offices. What's the. I have done so to place the wire tap. Have you run out of ammo? I have run out of ammo. I won't admit defeat. I know this butt totally killed her, I just try to figure out how. No, I'm not giving up. No, why'd you say yes? Ooh! Someone's calling my name. Ooh, past um, mentor. Advice. Give me advice. Or fate in the courtroom. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, what happened to me? Oh, yeah. 
wait, what? Oh my gosh, what just happened? He's dreaming. That's no way to greet no friend. Well, you're supposed to be dead. Oh! Oh yeah! Right! Ooh, cool. Can you just... Okay. I'll listen to you. That's so cool. Alright, I'm gonna listen to you. Ooh, really? I won? Yes! The one with the name on it. Thank you for confirming that he wrote that, not you. It's a regular receipt. And got it from the department. Ooh, wait, is it? Oh, okay, so the... Oh, the glass light stand is on a receipt. Fourth. Oh, so she bought the stand, the light and glass light stand before she was killed. Oh, but she didn't have it yet. Duh. Cool. Awesome, you helped me out. Alright, so we're gonna- I'm gonna totally just like call him out on that, because you are lying. It is obvious you're lying to me. I'm prepared to send you off to jail. Yeah, sorry for fainting in the courtroom. So, we're gonna get ready. It's not finished. I'm not done yet. Yes, let me- let me expose this dude. I totally didn't even realize- I just realized after reading, um, with the whole funny name thing, red, white, is of Blue Corporation. That's insane. <laughs> Puns! I'm ready. Let's go. Yet yeah, he's wearing pink and purple, which doesn't match at all, but whatever. Yeah, so I have to Um, so at this point I'm not sure if I'm supposed to- she told me to do it on the other statement, but I don't know. And you know what? I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go to this- it, yeah. Let's do that. Let's just present what she told me to present, which was the receipt date. Objection! There we go. Yeah, look at that receipt. You know what's interesting is I, I, I feel like that's just further incriminating yourself. Like you grab the- you would think he'd just get like a piece of paper from a notebook or something or something else to write a name on but he had to use a receipt of his own which could further incriminate him. Like I would never do that. They can trace that receipt. It would tie you to the murder. At least show it proof that you were there. I would never leave that behind. But, I mean, I guess when someone murders somebody, they always make at least a tiny mistake, hence why, like, you know, I would... 
had I been caught in a situation like that, I, I would leave something behind and incriminating myself anyway, so it doesn't really work. They always miss some little detail. In this case, he just left a receipt. Let's watch this breakdown, shall we? Nope, you can't lie anymore. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Achievable. That's a new word now. Yeah, he's losing it. No kidding. <laughs> Must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Yeah, let's let's just make you explode now. Yeah. There we go. I've got the judge on my side now. I, I knew it. Someone's gonna interrupt him. You have more you want to say to me, Edgeworth? Yeah, it's Edgeworth. He, he's gonna do everything he can to mess up a non-guilty verdict. Are you kidding me that you're saying there's like a thread of logic in what he's talking about? He clearly lied to the court. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? You're gonna make me go one more day? No! No, watch. He's gonna update something and then... And then we're gonna go into another court trial. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna object that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is obvious. His guilt is obvious. You don't need to prolong the court trial. You have no reason to. Are you serious? It's a receipt, dude! Date and time! Are you- Oh man. You're denying my objection. Oh my gosh, they're postponing this? Oh no, are they gonna ask me to... Are they gonna ask me to approve? Oh, Mr. Sparkles. Ooh, okay. Pinky Heart Lady and Mr. Sparkles. <laughs> Mr. Sparkles. No, you can't go home. Alright, I got this. Thank you! Yay! Yay, she's here to help me! Ooh, what's this? Yeah, I'm persistent. I want to send Mr. Sparkle to jail. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna read something in the court. Here. Let's present it. I don't even know what this is, actually, so I'm about to find out. So there's a lo it's a list of names. He doesn't want the list read. No, I'm not gonna stop. Ha! Yeah, admit your guilt. Or else we're gonna give this list of names to the press. He's confessing. Thank you. <laughs> Phoenix is just like, <laughs> well, I don't know what just happened, but this helped. Sweet, I've done it again. Cool. Sweet, I'm not guilty. Awesome! More confetti! Alright, so... 
Cool. We finished that part of it. Court is adjourned. Yay! I'm lucky Mia was here to help me through Maya. Okay, back to the Fay and Co law offices at 9.02 p.m. Ooh, who, who's talking to me? Who's this? She runs burgers. Let's go get burgers. Celebratory burgers. Oh, I guess she doesn't remember channeling her sister. Okay. I'm actually kind of curious as to when they channel someone, who where do they go? Like, where does their spirit go? Or does it just lie dormant? So we have to... I have my own office now. Sweet! She's gonna call me Nick now. Does that mean his name is... No. His name is Phoenix. Oh, I guess that makes sense, Nick. I agree. Brighton Cole Law Offices does have a ring to it. Sweet. This is gonna be good. Alright, so we sent Mr. Sparkles to jail. We're gonna get burgers. I like burgers. It's actually a really good burger place I went to fairly recently where you can like go your own burger. Heck of good. Kind of pricey though. But there's a lot of good burger joints in the Bay Area. Awesome! Brand new episode! Alright, save progress. We're good, guys. End of episode... Um... Two. Now on to episode three. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Catchy music. Wow, look at this action scene. The Dark Messenger returns in an exciting new episode. Okay, so this is roughly a month later. <laughs> the 
see you in hell, evil magistrate. Magistrate. Sure. She can leave a room around if she wants. She's like, oh my gosh. Huh. You mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? That's like the kind of reaction I would get if I told someone I never watched Game of Thrones. Someone's like, you never watched Game of Thrones? You gotta watch it. Yeah, this is the most popular TV hero for people, young people in this game. Oh, 10 years old. <laughs> Game of Thrones definitely not for 10 year olds. Seventeen. Oh, so it starts at thirteen where you're like a preteen. He's only twenty-four, he's my age. What the heck? He's my age and he's a lawyer. Gosh. It's crazy. Man, the people in here are happy young. 24, I feel like I haven't even got my life together yet. And it's like, oh, this guy's got a stable job in Korea already. Dang. Well, you just gotta wait until someone. something happens and then. Well, I imagine it's actually very difficult to find clients as a lawyer, too. Ooh, that ring again. Change your ringtone, Phoenix. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh, the Steel Samurai got arrested. So now he's apparently committed a crime, and I have to go to the office. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested- oh my gosh, Will Powers. Okay. Alright, cool, more puns. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai. Arrested on suspicion of murder. Mur murder. Not murder, what am I saying? <laughs> the victim was Jackhammer. <gasps> Will Powers killed Jackhammer apparently, so we're gonna find out what happened with that. He <laughs> names I can't. <laughs> If it's on the news, it's not a joke. You really need to change your ringtone, Phoenix, please. Oh, that's not- wait, that's not even- Oh, that's her ringtone. Or maybe everyone's ringtone is the same. Oh, he's calling directly on your phone? Um, so that was a very long intro for the third episode. I think, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, end here. It's such an awkward way to end things, but I want to be able to, um, split the episodes up properly. So I'm gonna save after all of that. So we're on Turnabout Samurai now. So I'm gonna go back. Alright, so that was a good finish for the second episode, and I'm going to continue the third episode, but I'm going to do that in another video. So, thanks for watching the conclusion of that. We sent Mr. Sparkles to jail, which is cool. Now we gotta uh, help Will Powers and solve the murder of Jackhammer. 
cameras. So, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode, next video. Thanks for watching!